Does this look familiar with your dogs? This sister happens to be on the other side of the gate. And because she's on the other side of the gate, she's kind of uh, taunting her sisters. And they don't like the fact that uh, she's separated. Look at Monkey. Even she's gotten into the act. And look, she's just taunting them. <laughs> Uh, this is what happens when dogs get behind barriers. Just the stress of the barrier can create behaviors that revolve around assertive and dominant uh, structures. And uh, this is how it begins. It's just stress. And she's enjoying it. Look at these guys. They tear up everything. You got to get them a toy. Uh, they make an indestructible toy. Well, make it out of a crate and see if that works. <laughs> Look at what they can do. Now, this girl didn't do this, but another dog did. They like to chew on things. Every now and then, they're going to do some crazy stuff. You know, and they're strong. That pound per pressure on that bite is just magnificent. Well, let me let these two girls in. Uh, Monkey's getting bigger. Life is moving on. Okay. Gaining just a little bit. <laughs> She's still cute. That's my girl. What's up, Monkey? You think I have something for you? I don't. Just look at how these guys are growing up. You know? Just feeling their oats, honing in on their skills, you know, showing off with each other. Monkeys in on it with their sister. Look at it. This is a necessary evil. This is what has to happen. You've got dogs, they want to do this, man. You got to let them do it. This is all part of growing up and tapping into that wolf structure that all dogs have. As I've said many times, dogs are really wolves in dogs' clothing. If you don't think that's true, then you show me where they come from. They're magnificent creatures. Look at them. Just testing each other. Uh, plays two dogs trying to, or more, trying to figure out who's more dominant than the other. Now, you remember she was the one on the other side of the gate. You notice how passionate she is. The two sisters are on her because she was behind the gate. You see? Look at Just because of the whole gate situation, it produced this. Now. This is just a form of imprinting on behaviors and social things that have taken place that caused them to act this way. That's all it is. But because they don't look inward, they look outward, whatever happens to them is imprinted on them. And with the mind that nature has given them, they will act accordingly. That's all this is. And then once it happens, they all bond together and uh, things are good again. But they have to set the pack order again. And that's what you just saw. All of that was just to reset the pack order. We'll continue.